AI techniques may help in cracking passwords and other types of cybersecurity in a way which might take humans many millions of man hours to actually do. And the risk is that artificial intelligence techniques will enable that to be dealt to be achieved much more easily and with much more dangerous consequences. Some stories in the press have suggested that people's pacemakers can be hacked and the security um, of those is at risk. And whether that's by artificial intelligence or not, that could have serious implication for people's health. It is right to be concerned about it and important decisions about people's security, health, and other sometimes life-changing decisions are going to be decided by artificial intelligence much more frequently in the future. Well, I think governments are aware of how the benefits of artificial intelligence are going to um, assist people's lives. Self-driving is an obvious example, and the government in the UK is already bringing in legislation and consulting on it to take account of some of the concerns that um, people have. For example, who should be liable if there's a crash by a self-driving car. Many people will be familiar with products such as Amazon's Alexa and it's going to become more and more difficult to know whether who you're communicating with, whether it's by voice or maybe on a messenger system, is a real person or some kind of bot that's being driven by artificial intelligence. Now that can have a lot of advantages because you may get your customer service dealt with much more quickly, but on the other hand it may be quite disconcerting to find out that you think you're speaking with a human, but in fact it's a robot.